This is the Amazon one month overview reading for August 2022. It's currently August 2nd, 2022, 10 37 p.m. Eastern Time. So, the overall theme and behavior for Amazon throughout the month of August is going to be sideways fluctuations with a, with a bearish trend. Um, but specifically, the sideways fluctuation with the bearish trend precedes a, uh, a rally. So it actually provides a good opportunity to begin, like it's the, the, the lull before the beginning of a rally. Um, and it's crossed with uh, an important, the establishment of an important support level, um, which is also a good cash in opportunity on a multi month chart, on, let's say on a year to date, to date chart. Um, behavior leading into the month's high is going to be a big move to the upside, reaching for distant resistance. Um, and behavior around the month's low, there'll be a prominent reversal stand out on a year-to-date uh, -year chart. Looks like some good money can be made between this month, the Ace of Discs. And next month, see preview card, the Princess of Discs. Some good money can be made here, guys. Um, all right, so we start off the month. Uh, Congress is highlighted either either that or an, uh, like an important executive of, of Amazon is highlighted. Probably Congress. Um, there's a correlation here to sideways fluctuations with a bearish trend that precedes a a rally, and there's also a correlation here to an important support level. Um, one local low and one local high. So by local low and local high, what I mean is when you're looking at a one day chart for the first, you're gonna see one prominent high that stands out and one prominent low that stands out. Specifically on the first, that prominent high um, is gonna form when we drop to and through a support level, and then we um, meet another support level and, and rotate sideways along that support level. Um, the low for the, for the day is gonna form um, well, after a notable decline on a one-day chart, it'll stand out and will break down through multiple support levels. Um, around the second, we have um, three pokes through the same price level followed by a decline off of that third poke. It'll be a notable decline um, on a, uh, on a one-month chart. Um, there's one local high on the second, um, and, it, and we'll know it to be the high because it will meet resistance um, and volume and, and uh, volatility will kind of like peter out It'll, there'll be a lull in volume um, as we're pump, bump, bumping up against those those poking three times through that price level. Um, on the third, we have um, an important price level highlighted. Um, so uh, it looks like the same price level, the truce level at the high for the third as well. So um, the second and the third, an important resistance level highlighted. On the fourth, we have the end of a rally. Um, the end of the completion of a rally, there's one local low. Um, there's one local low, and, and that that involves a important leader of a nation is highlighted here around the local low for the fourth. So um, maybe news comes out or something around the time of the of the one day low for the fourth. Um, there's also a correlation here to an important support level um, with and, and trade opportunity. Um, I left out that we also had sideways fluctuations with the bearish trend preceding a rally correlations for the, the first, the second, and the third. On the fifth, we have what appears to be a, a crest. Um, after there's a big move to the upside, it, it's like a, a rare move. You won't, you don't see big moves like that too often. It'll be a notable move or something kind of out of the ordinary. Something improbable happens that brings us to like this this crest at the end of the day. Um, on the eighth, we have a big move to the upside. It looks like from being oversold. Um, over the weekend or maybe there was a gap down over the weekend and we're moving higher to fill a, ga a gap down but there's a rally that commences mid uh, mid morning um, and there's one local high um, around that truce level again around that truce level uh, that, that important resistance level where we'll see volume uh, peter out um, also correlations on the eighth to sideways fluctuations with a bearish trend preceding a rally on the ninth we have one local low um, it forms when we attempt to establish a support level on a one-day chart. Um, there's a lot of volatility on the ninth, and there's also gonna we'll see a breakout somewhere on the ninth. It looks like out of a low on the eighth, 
Um, we move higher into the ninth, and then there's a crest there in the ninth with some volatility in the midst of that. On the 10th, we successfully turn resistance into new support. Looks like we have a higher high than the ninth on the 10th. Um, uh, towards the end of the day, there's one local high on the one day chart of the 10th. Um, we'll drop to and through a support level from that high, meet a second support level, and then we'll rotate sideways along support. Um, there's one local low that'll form after a notable decline on a one day chart through multiple support levels. Um, there's also correlations to sideways fluctuations of the bearish trend preceding an, a rally and also an important support level highlighted on a, on, we're talking about on a one month chart, an important high, uh, support level highlighted here. Um, looks like the cessation of a trend. Um, we have the completion of a trend on, uh, around the 10th. Um, the rally kind of ends, cools off, and there may be, um, there's faint, faint energies of a month's trough here towards the end of the day. Um, but it looks like we probably, we have a fake out, um, an intentional fake out on the 11th. So on a one month chart, it'll stand out. An intentional fake out on the 11th or right around the 11th, um, intended to uh, make impulsive act, uh, impulsive investors do the wrong thing intentionally. Um, there's a day trade opportunity or a string trade between the 10th and the 11th. Somewhere in there, there's a good trade. Um, one of the trades involves a drop to and through a support level. We meet a second support level, and then we rotate sideways along support. The other trade involves a, a sudden dip within a period of sideways rotation. Um, there's also one local low on the 11th. It looks like it could be a steep low on the on the 11th. It's possible there. Um, but there's one local low that forms when we attempt to establish support along an uh, important support level. Um, notable decline, something improbable on the 12th. A drop to and through a support level to meet a second support level, and then we break down. Si uh, we move sideways along that support level. Um, it's uh, around 12, but it'll be a notable drop to and through a key support levels there. On the 15th, it looks like the, the decline continues over the weekend. On the 15th, we have a major low. It looks like probably the month, this is most likely the month's low here on the 15th. It's a prominent trough for the month, but most likely this will be the month's low here. Um, and we have <coughs> a lot going on. There's a notable decline. Um, it'll stand out on a one month chart just like on the 12th um, and it offers an opportunity to open up a long position in the midst of that decline there's one local high so on a one-day chart of the 15th we'll see a, res a high at a resistance level that where the volume peters out um, there's also correlations to sideways or uh, sideways fluctuations of the bearish trend preceding a rally um, on the 15th there um, and there's also three trades so there's probably three three swings like sideways fluctuation there's probably three fluctuations based on there being three trades there um, one of those one of those trades in, involves um, a sudden dip within a period of sideways rotation another one involves some erratic behavior back and forth through the same price level um, and we revisit a crest that was recently a past opportunity. And the other trade involves out of a decline, there's a, a move from the bottom of a range all the way to the top of a range. Oof, a lot going on on the 15th. Around the 16th, we have sideways rotation increasing with, with momentum as we move forward um, along a support level. There is a one local high um, from which forms when we drop to and through a support level to meet another support level and then we move sideways along that support level rotating. Um, there's <coughs> an important an important support level correlation highlighted here as well. So a good opportunity at a support level um, to, put, to make a trade. Um, and that's on a one month chart support level. Um, there's also one local low on a one day chart involving a uh, leader of nations. And it looks like there's a lot of movement overnight here. A lot of mo price movement overnight. Um, a lot of movement. It's likely a drop here overnight on the 17th. Um, a swing trade opportunity in the midst of some erratic behavior back and forth through the same price level. Um, and in the midst of that erratic behavior, we revisit a recent past opportunity at a crest. Uh, 
on the 18th, we have one local low. So on a one day chart at the 18th, there'll be one low that stands out um, towards the end of the day. Um, and it'll form after a notable decline on a one day chart through multiple support levels. There's quite a bit of volatility here on the 18th. We have correlations to both an important support level on a one month chart, as well as sideways fluctuations with a bearish trend preceding a rally. Um, also on a one month chart kind of scale. Now on a one day chart, a lot of volatility with a fast sudden move higher at the end of the day, marking the end of that period of volatility. I'm advised to, if I'm in a position that I don't feel good about, um, I'm advised not to wait and see. I'm advised to get out of a bad situation here at the end of the day on, on the 18th. On the 19th, an important resistance level is highlighted. Um, we have quite a bit of volatility here. It looks like we move higher. Um, Yeah, we move higher um, into the end of the day on on Friday the 19th. Uh, there may be a little bit of a, uh, there's a faint energies of a month's trough here in the midst of that volatility. Two local lows, so on a one day chart, we'll see two prominent lows on a one day chart for the 19th. One when we attempt to establish support, another one when there's a, uh, a rally along a diagonal trend line, breaking through horizontal resistance, meeting secondary resistance, and then there's a sharp dip there. Um, but a lot of volatility there on the 19th and an opportunity to position oneself for both directions utilizing option spreads on the 22nd we have a important a very important uh, technical price level that's highlighted on the 22nd um, and it looks like we have a, a decline that commences from that technical level um, probably an important indicator of some kind or an intersection of multiple important trend lines that sort of thing but important resistance levels highlighted or technical price level likely a resistance level um, and we decline from that on the 23rd we have correlations to an important support level on a one month chart there's sideways uh, price swings with a bullish trend um, on a one day chart here and two local lows that'll stand out on a one day chart um, one involving a leader of nations, the other one involving um, a rally along a diagonal trend line, breaking through horizontal resistance, meeting a secondary resistance, and then pulling uh, back with a bit of a dip to somewhere between those price levels. On the 24th, we have a month's crest here, an important prominent crest here for the month on the 24th. Um, it forms when we have a, a rally higher through a um, resistance level we stay there briefly and then we break back down through that same price level shortly thereafter um, that rally offers an opportunity to open up a short position I'm advised to open up some protection here around the 24th and uh, it looks like we have a month's high most likely this is most probably the month's high here on the 25th um, we have uh, bumping sideways along resistance levels as the majority of behavior for the day um, there's also a, a local high or a one one month's high here towards the end of the day, it looks like, um, where we have, again, a rally that offers an opportunity to open up a short position or protect against long positions. The following day, the 26th, we have um, a failed attempt to break through a key resistance level followed by a decline through a key support level. And it looks like we declined pretty hard because the following um, Monday over the weekend, it looks like we declined um, from a low on the 26th into the 29th. The low, there's a, there's a, there's a notable, a prominent trough here between the 26th and the 29th um, after that major uh, month's high here on the 25th. Um, and there's a fast sudden move higher out of that trough on the 29th um and it's it's a move from the bottom of, of of a range all the way to the top of a range um and there's a there's a swing trade opportunity in the midst of that move um to the top of a range on the 30th we have a decline a, a notable decline on a um on a uh, one month chart a notable decline from a peak uh, there's also correlations to an important support level on a one month chart. It'll stand out a good trade opportunity in there. Um, and there's two local lows on a one day chart of the 30th, one involving an, uh, a leader of nations, the other one involving a rally along a diagonal trend line uh, through a horizontal resistance to meet a second resistance. And then there's a sharp dip and a trade opportunity uh, involving erratic behavior back and forth through the same price level. Um, and in the midst of that erratic behavior, re revisit a past opportunity, recent opportunity at a crest. 
Um, on the 31st, we have a notable move to the upside. It'll stand out on a one month chart. Um, and we have, um, usually the, this is like a big green bar. If you're looking at one day candlesticks, um, the game card is usually like a big green bar. Um, and we have um, two local highs on a one day chart of the 31st, one that involves uh, multiple false tops likely, um, or some sort of uh, tricky false indicator is triggered. Um, but I'm advised to be cautious around these local highs. The other local high, um, in, it also offers an opportunity to open up a short position um, as we move into September. And the sneak preview card for September, again, guys, it's a princess of discs. So opportunity around a support level uh, to cash in on an investment. Um, looks like a, a low towards the beginning of the month there. Um, if you want to see more Amazon, guys, hit that like button. Let me know. Um, also, uh, hit that follow button if you haven't done so yet, guys. That's a good way to show us support. Most importantly, though, when you make money from that reading, pay a little bit of that forward. Keep that flow going. Pay a little bit of that backwards. Show some gratitude to the universe and to us, all the free work we're doing for you. And then with the rest of it, do what thou will is the, the whole of the law. Just do it out of love. And the universe will throw it back at you tenfold in all directions, my friends. I'll see you on the next one.